Good evening, Marilyn. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, I really wanted to uh, encourage everybody to do the YLOM contest on February 3rd to 5th. But if you're one that plans ahead like I do, there's also one coming up October 6th to 8th. It's the DX North America YL Anniversary Contest. So I'm sure there'll be more said about it in the future, but I just kind of wanted to put a bug in your ear. And anybody that wants to know uh, more information about it can go on the uh, YLRL website under contests on the left-hand side and uh, get all the information you need on it. Back to Net. Well, thank you very much, Marilyn. Um, in fact, I was looking at the uh, page there um, on YLR, and it looks like there needs to be some updating done on the actual contest page. I think it still has the 2016 dates. However, the correct dates are under the upcoming events link. So. Um, uh, I don't know, Marilyn, if you want to uh, uh, shoot over an email to Val, or I'm happy to do that if you like. Um, but uh, I think that page needs to be a little updated for this year's contest dates and times, uh, just so folks don't get confused. Um, but the correct, the correct uh, dates and times are on the upcoming events page, second link down on the left. So thank you, Marilyn. Appreciate it. And uh, that also reminds me that the YLRL Nets page has been updated on the website as well. So uh, it's a little bit easier to follow now. Um, don't have all the Nets kind of jammed together there. So the latest information on the YL Nets uh, that are posted up there are uh, more accurate now. So um, if you see something that needs to be updated on the web page, um, you can let your district chairwoman know if you're a YLRL member, or you can also um, let Val know uh, as she handles the, the website data. So thank you very much. Thank you, Marilyn. Appreciate it. And uh, I see your comment in the chat that you, uh, you, you sent her an email already. So very cool. All right, awesome. It's hard to keep up when you got like uh, several websites to maintain, which Val does. I think she does Clara, and I think she does one other one that uh, it escapes me at the moment. But she also uh, uh, is trying to throw together the uh, Clara birthday bash in July. So she's busy bee, so any help that uh, we can give her, I'm sure she definitely appreciate it. appreciates it. And before I forget to mention, uh, uh, Melanie, AG4YL, asked me to say hello to everyone. She had to work this evening and is not able to join us, but she asked that I please uh, uh, say hello and uh, 33 to you gals uh, on the net this evening. Okay, does anyone else have any questions or comments or announcements uh, on contests or uh, up and coming events that you'd like to share with the group? Please call now. LBY7YL? Go ahead, Katie. Thanks, Catherine. Um, I just thought I'd share a quick um, funny story related to NAQP. Um, you don't actually have to use your own name. You can use anyone's name. And I think um, with the CW contest uh, last weekend, my husband just came up with an entirely different name because Dwayne is really long on CW. Well, about nine years ago, I was operating NAQP at W1AW. And I was um, there with Dan and one ND, and we decided instead of doing the usual high room, um, we thought we'd be funny and use the name Slippers because I had been doing some YouTube videos when I worked at HQ, and there was a really popular one with me and my pink fuzzy slippers. I mean, it was just really dumb, but we thought we would just play on that. Well, it was the worst choice ever, and I still haven't lived it down this many years later because we ended up wasting so much time in our QSO saying slippers, like what you wear on your feet, or slippers, like what you put on when you get out of the shower. Everyone thought we said slippers. And we said, no, not what you swim in, but what you wear around the house. So it was, a, it was a good learning experience, and it was a huge waste of time, but it's still something Dan and I laugh about to this day. And But I think the lesson is there you can use any name you like, but certainly 
go for something a little bit easier for the other folks to uh, to understand. Okay, back to net control. That's a great story, Katie. Very good. Thanks so much for sharing that. And uh, you know, maybe uh, maybe this year you should use flippers, and then of course you'll have everybody going. Did you say slippers? And, and it'll be the opposite, won't it? <laughs> Great one. Cool. Thanks, Katie, for sharing that. And uh, it brings up another great point. Uh, gals, contesting is all about having fun. It's not um, about how many, how many, you know, pusos can you make. That's part of the fun. But, you know, contesting, like anything else in this hobby, if you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. Or, you know, find, find what you enjoy most about the hobby and, and enjoy the heck out of it because that's what it's for. It's supposed to be enjoyable, it's supposed to be fun, and keep things on the light side. So, awesome story, Katie. Thank you so much for sharing that with the group. Really appreciate that. Okay, uh, anybody else have comments or announcements or uh, uh, upcoming events you'd like to share with the group? Please call now. KC9YL. Hello, YL. One event I cannot wait for is Hamcation. And when I first got on the air, me and I live in the South, they all say Don down here. And there was a guy named Don. And every time they said it, I would think they were talking to me. So they started calling me down the Dawn, so we could decipher this. Up north, it's Dawn, and down here it's Don. That's that control. Oh, that's awesome, Dawn. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing that. That's great. <laughs> great story there, Dawn. Thank you. Uh, Ann, please go ahead, KC9YL. Uh, Mike's to you. Thank you, Catherine. Boy, nice bucks you got again tonight. Just wanted to mention another Ann story. Um, I've often wished that I could come up with a different name other than the Ann, too, because it doesn't have any hard consonant sounds. Sometimes I think I should just use something like Chuck that has the hard consonants and easy to spell, because you want it to be easy to say, easy to spell, and easy to understand. And because my name will pop up in the su super check partial, I hate to stray too far from what I am. Um, in a contest one time, I had to spell my name out, and I usually say A-N-N-E just because it goes a lot quicker. And one guy came back to me and he said, oh, Anne with an echo. So I actually use that once in a while. And just wanted to mention quick over the weekend, I did read the book. It's called Herd Island by Kirsty Jenkins Smith, written by a YL who was in Herd Island on a de expedition in the 1980s. And it was just absolutely awesome. So I certainly would recommend that. It's the Herd Island book by Kirsty Jenkins Smith. KC9YL, back to net. Well, great, Anne. Thanks for the thanks for the story. That was cool, and another great suggestion uh, for the Anns uh, out there. So, uh, Anne with an echo, cool. And um, also, uh, sorry, <laughs> I just uh, I I think Susie's uh, cat decided to get on the keyboard again. <laughs> um, can you put the uh, book information there, Anne, in the chat rooms? Uh, sounds awesome. Would love to see about getting a copy or a borrowing one, if you don't mind, uh, so some of the other gals can uh, can see that. And uh, also, if you haven't uh, put it in the Young Ladies Radio League Facebook page, um, throw it in there too. Would be awesome. So uh, if you can uh, put it anywhere you got access to at the moment, and that would be great. Several ladies are interested. Looks like Shirley and uh, Jenny as well uh, would like to see that if you can. Um, which reminds me too, if you gals uh, aren't already aware, you, uh, uh, Anne WB1ARU has uh, put together a Facebook page uh, for Young Ladies Radio League. Anne, uh, do you have a minute? Would you like to come in and tell the gals a little bit more about that? Uh, WB1ARU, AC4YL in the net. Oh, uh, yeah. We. Um I realized that the problem with our uh, organization page was that when people posted things, they weren't being displayed easily for people to see and respond to. They were there, but you had to go hunt for them. Uh, I was even hunting for them, and I thought, this is going to be a better way. And Nisi was saying, we've got to do something about it. So I spent some time the other night and figured out 
that what we needed to do was make a group page. So we now have a YLRL group page, and it's free and wide open to be posted, but it is a closed group. Uh, you have to be invited by someone who's already on the um, page as a member, or uh, you can just ask, you can request membership, uh, which several of you have done. I tried to think of a bunch of people right off the bat that night and uh, put them on the list, but I'm happy to see that members of the list are in inviting others. As far as I'm concerned, the only requirement is that you're a YL. This page will not be hosting uh, comments from any OM. So it is a closed page. Only the people who are members will see the comments, uh, I believe, is the way it works. At least only members can post. So in that respect, it is closed just to keep it um, a little more controlled. Um, and right now, I'm the only manager, but I'm thinking of including someone else. Uh, but I'm thinking about that. So far, it's working. But uh, just don't want it to get to be um, having any trolls on it. That's a good reason to have it closed. Hope that explains it for you folks. Um, WB1ARU. Very good, Anne. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, closed groups on Facebook are are, uh, are great because uh, you can kind of uh, gauge who's who's a member and uh, they're manageable. So if somebody starts posting inappropriate things and gets sneaks in there, then you can uh, remove them from the group. So that's a good thing. Um, so very good. Um, let's. Uh, just reading the comments in the chat. Sorry about that. And uh, KC9YL is getting the information in the chats for us on the book. So thank you, Anne. Appreciate that very much. Okay. Um, so any other comments, announcements, or updates for the group that you'd like to share, please call now. Jenny. Okay, looks like we have Jenny and Rhea. So let's go to Jenny first. Uh, M0HZT, please go ahead and good morning, Jenny. Good, good morning, all. Um, the the, the YL ham, ham radio operators only um, is a closed group. And if, you, if anyone was to put anything on on the page, not in the chat, otherwise you've got to search and search and search for it, so it'll get lost. But put it on the group page. I may, I may try and make sure that Nisi adds adds to the chat. Who shouts to the chat, shouts to the group. So I just, Nisi, please add to the group page those you add, please. Uh, <laughs> And the otherwise information will get lost in the chat, which is not fair on, it, on, on, on us all, because um, we are increasing in numbers. And uh, to, to be fair to everybody, um, we have to um, we want to be able, be able to see the information clearly and and uh, whatever. Back to you there, Catherine. Okay, very good, Jenny. Thank you very much. And uh, yes, the pages are a great place that you have to post them on the page if you want to share them with the group. Uh, so thank you, Jenny. Appreciate that. And for the information on the uh, Wild Ham Operator group as well. So thank you. Appreciate that. And uh, Rhea, I think you keyed up. Uh, let's uh, go to Rhea in 2RJ. Okay, um, I just had one thing. I put um, a file in the, group, the Facebook group. Um, it's a user-defined contest um, file for the YLOM contest. Um, uh, it sets up N1MM logger to, um, to um, accommodate the contest, because I don't think it's a, a pre-configured contest. And I'll post up some instructions as well for those who might not be familiar with um, setting it up. So 
um, it gives you, you know, all the fields you need to in YLOM. So um, that's all I got no, for now. Um, back to that end. Who are Okay, very good, Rhea. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, we'll look for that on the Facebook page as well. So thank you. Awesome. Uh, I'm sure that will help some folks that want to test out N1MM and uh, see how that works. That will help them get going uh, with a little bit less learning curve. So thank you, Rhea. Appreciate that. Okay, so um, let's see. Last week we talked a lot about logging programs. Um, and uh, one of the things uh, we talked about was QRZ logging um, or uploading your stuff into there. Uh, I wanted to know, I think we ran out of time last week, uh, Nisi, uh, was there any comments that you would like to share uh, briefly about QRZ uh, and uh, logging with that or putting your logs there? Um, if you just want to take just a few minutes to share some key points with your group, there's anything you'd like to share there. I'll give you a chance here. K A one U L N A C four Y L in the net. <laughs> you caught me off guard. <laughs> um, uh, to log, I I use QRZ as my logger. It's so good. It's so quick. Um, and because everybody uses it to look up people's call signs, so. Um, I have a I have a whole write up on my blog on how to use it. If you're not if you're not already uh, logged into QRZ, it shows you how to you know create the account and then start logging and and um, receiving certificates. Um, yeah, that's all I'd like to say. I don't want to take up any more time. It, there's a link on my blog. I'll post it here and in the do drop in room. Thanks so much, Cat. Back to net. All right, Nisi, perfect. We'll look for that link uh, to the information in your blog and uh, appreciate that. And um, uh, Melanie had mentioned something to me earlier today when uh, she was letting me know she wasn't going to make it on the net. Um, you know, the difference between a logging program and a QSL uh, type confirmation program, those are very different. Logging programs are designed for you to enter in your QSO information in exchange. Who you spoke with, the call sign, the time that you started, the time you ended, uh, and the signal reports and any additional information. That's what a logging program is for. So last week when we were talking about N1MM, N3FJP, uh, Log4OM, uh, those are logging programs. You put you put in your QSO information there uh, as you make those contacts. A QSL confirmation program basically is a program that you upload your logs into for confirmation purposes. For example, logbook of the world is a little bit of a misnomer because it's not a logbook in in the sense of you don't key in each contact in there. You don't log a contact, each contact in Logbook of the World. You log them in a logging program and then you upload them to LOTW for confirmation reasons. So just a brief overview of how that works. I'm not going to tell you how to do it, just how it works is if I made a QSO with Nisi, for example, I would log that contact information. I would put K-A-1-U-L-N, and I would put the time we talked and the signal report we exchanged. Uh, there's usually a box for any comments. You don't have to put those in. Um, and the time that the QSO ended. I would upload that contact to LOTW from my logging program. Nisi would do the same on her end, and Logbook of the World would match them. And now we have a confirmed contact or a confirmed QSO. What does that mean? Well, ARRL, who has the, put out the logbook of the world, uh, is, um, has a lot of awards and things you can earn, such as worked all states, for example. So as you work folks in different states, 
or YLs in various states, you enter them in your logging program. You upload your log to LOTW. They upload their logs to LOTW. As long as they're within a certain time frame uh, there and the information matches, you get a confirmation. And those confirmations are what help you work toward earning um, certificates and awards, such as worked all states. Um, DXCC, which means you worked 100 different uh, DXCC entities, DX entities, um, and those sorts of things. So that's a very, very basic overview of how that works. Let me pause for a reset. But that's your basic difference. You've got logging programs where you key in each QSO or contact as you make it, and then you have QSL programs or uh, methods that take those QSOs and confirm them. EQSL is a popular one you'll hear about. QRZ is a popular one you'll hear about. And LOTW you'll, you'll hear a lot about. For those of you that are newer and uh, hearing a lot of this terminology, don't panic. You're not going to learn everything you need to learn about logging programs and uploading an LOTW in less than an hour net. So um, don't panic. You'll get it down a little bit at a time, so I did want to uh, to point the differences out uh, as uh, suggested by Melanie, so certainly appreciate her suggestion there uh, in, in mentioning the two differences, because you will run into that. And it can be a little confusing. Okay, so with that, um, Anybody else have any comments or questions or announcements for the group on contesting or uh, anything else that you want to share with the group here? Uh, please call now. Well, Lauren, I saw you key up, but I didn't get any audio. Uh, go ahead, Lauren. KC9ZHV, AC4YL in the net. K-A-1-U-L-N. Thank you very much, Lauren. Appreciate that. So go ahead, Nisi. Yeah, uh, one thing I'm surprised that Ginny didn't chime in here. If everybody on here could go to clublog.org, C-L-U-B-L-O-G dot org, and create an account, and when you uh, upload your log, you know, when you make a QSO, you've got logs, you've got a whole bunch of QSOs online, you send those over to Club Log, and you pick YLR out as your club, you can see what all the, all, you know, like all the YLs here, how they're doing with how many QSOs they got, and, and um, who they made a QSO with, it's, it's kind of nice, kind of slick, actually. You can uh, compare yourself to, uh, you know, what the typical uh, YL is doing, what kind of QSOs they're making, and, and uh, what kind of... Uh, there's a little bit more information, but, um, yeah, if you do that, you can um, see what everybody's doing. Back to net. 08ZT. Well, very good, Nisi. Go ahead, Jenny. Okay, Nisi. You beat me to it. <laughs> it's a good job I wasn't um, doubling with you. Yes, um, don't 
don't forget everybody, go to, go and have a look at Treblog. It is brilliant. It really is. And, and, if, and if you're not registered, take about five minutes to register. Then go to settings, clubs, highlight by Lara and YLRL. And I, then I, I, myself and Anne would do the rest. I look, I, I, I'm going to um, put, put a second person in, in on them um, by Lara to help, help, help me um, admit. I don't know if, if, I'm, if, I, if you Anne, have, have um, added anyone else to, um, to, to manage with you. But the more, the, the more we can get, act, and then don't forget to get yourselves active. That is by actually up uploading your logs into Club Log. It, it's, it's difficult to do, but very difficult to get someone active, as I can tell you. I have a hell of a job with, with them, the English lit, um, girls. But, uh, but it can be done, and it is being done slowly. So say, um, then then it, it will show in the list then. It won't show in, in the actual list until there are at least, I believe it's either 10 or 15 active members. So by Lara's got now got 30, 35 members, uh, but only about 12 of those are active. But back to you there, Catherine. Uh, I just just had my my little say so. <laughs> okay, very good, Jenny. Well, thank you, and thank Nisi too. And uh, <clears throat> yes, I I have yet to sign up myself, so uh, that would be really cool. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. And um, let's see. Do 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 do. Go do this list here. Boy, we've got a lot of gals on tonight. Great. Um, just seeing who popped in here, and looks like we've got a few more, but we'll give them a chance to check in in, in just a minute. Okay, so we have just a few minutes left of the net this evening here on Echo Link. So what I'd like to do is uh, several of you gals are probably, uh, or hopefully, participating in the annual certificate award. So here's some reminders, real quick, uh, since I think quite a few of us on the net here this evening are YLRL members. Don't forget to renew your membership if you have not already done so. Uh, send in your dues to um, either Carol, if you're uh, local here, uh, or um, Rosemary. So don't forget to do that. Also, you may want to check in with Rosemary, KB4RM, um, and see if she has any DXYLs that need a sponsor. Um, so. Uh, uh, Rosemary, I don't know if would you like to comment on that now. I don't mean to put you on the spot here. It just kind of popped in my head. Um, if you could just let us know, and if not, if you uh, would like to give us your email or where we can find it uh, to contact you uh, to ask if uh, anyone here is interested in sponsoring a YL. So uh, over to you, Rosemary, if you are able and uh, would like and. Uh, to, uh, to comment on that. KB4RM, AC4YL in the net. Okay, KB4RM, thank you. Um, uh, yeah, one mark is um, we got the application form. Of course, I take care of the DXYL, so it's mostly sponsors. And um, there is a uh, form on the YLRL website, and I'm glad to see that people are using it. Also because I have a new address, so some of them are coming in in my old address. Luckily they do um, forward the mail. I don't know how long they do that. But, but anyway, um, right now um, uh, I am pretty well covered, uh, but I always, if somebody would like to sponsor, I know I can find <laughs> somebody. Because what's happened, and I don't know that yet, but sometimes um, there are YLs who will uh, drop their adoptive because of different reasons. So, um, and um, I will have to find another one. But I'm so thankful when people offer to sponsor. So, um, and 
my new address and email and everything is on that form, plus also, of course, in the directory. Of course, everybody is not a YLRL member, but I don't know if they want to sponsor. Um, uh, that's another thing. But uh, as I said, all the, my address and all that is right there. Um, or do you want me to put my email address on? The, I can do that in the box here. Back to you, Catherine. Well, very good, Rosemary. Yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I didn't know if you wanted to uh, to share it on the air or not. So if you would like to put it in the chat, that's fine. Uh, I also put the link for the applications and renewal <coughs> page uh, to go right to the forms. So uh, they can get your uh, information uh, through the YLR website. Nisi put in the, the main page there for us as well. Uh, so thank you, Nisi. Appreciate that. So yes, if you uh, would like to sponsor a... Uh, a DXYL into YLRL. Um, even if Rosemary doesn't have anyone or immediate need right now, uh, it's good that she'll be able to keep a list of those that are interested and able to do so and can come back to you uh, uh, if, uh, if there comes a need. So thank you, Rosemary. Appreciate you coming in and uh, sharing that with us. So uh, what got me kind of on that track, and I apologize for kind of the side turn there, um, just don't forget to, uh, to renew. Um, and also, if you did your annual certificate award last year, exchanging favorite movies, don't forget to send it in so you can get your certificate. No, you do not have to mail it snail mail. You can email it to Val, uh, send your log sheet over to Val. She will uh, take a look at it, check it for you, and uh, then she will email you your certificate back that you can then print out and frame and uh, put in the... In the uh, best place you can find uh, on the wall somewhere, uh, prominent position there, so everyone can see it. It's really a cool looking certificate, actually, really, really like it. Um, so if you haven't already sent that in, don't forget to do so, so Val can get your certificate to you. Um, so you work hard to get those 15 contacts, so get your certificate. Uh, I know Val will be more than happy to do that. Okay, so... Um, Jenny, I'm not sure I understand your question there on that. Um. Jenny, go ahead and ask your question, uh, M0HZTAC4YL. Spell check, because I'm playing up. Can we email, can we add them to Skype? Val's on Skype. So can we add them our, um, Send send them back to her via Skype. Uh, that I'm not sure. You'd have to ask uh, Val how to send it. But um, if you have them, if you have them printed out, uh, Jenny, if you have them written down on a piece of paper, uh, you can probably pop into a an office supply store. Um, they can probably put that on a file for you uh, and save it and either put it on your computer or if you have a little uh, thumb drive, flash drive, they can save it for you so that you can uh, attach it in an email to her. Um, so I'm not sure how, what other means she can accept those, um, but you can be sure, you can certainly check with her and, uh, and ask and she'll let you know. So um, thank you, Jenny. Appreciate that. So this year's annual certificate award is Favorite Flower. That's the exchange for the award. And, um, you know, of course, it, it, you may have your uh, exchange of favorite flower for uh, various reasons. Uh, maybe you have a hard time picking your favorite flower. It, it doesn't matter um, as long as you, you pick one. And that's the one you use uh, for every exchange uh, with the gals that you do. So we have time for probably about three of you gals to, uh, to take an opportunity to make that exchange. So uh, we're going to see which three uh, would like to volunteer first this evening. So if you would like to, please uh, call now and uh, we'll take the first three. This is AC4YL. KB4RM. AE7MB.
W A four boy L. Okay, so we have the we have three gals here. What I'd like to do is um last week I believe uh Margaret A E seven M B and Dawn W A four Y L. I believe you gals uh were able to go last week. Um, so if you do not mind, I would like to ask if you mind uh, just standing by for a moment if there are uh, two of the other gals who did not uh, make the exchange last week and would like to, uh, if we can give them a chance to do so. So uh, um, Margaret, is that okay with you? We'll start with you. That's fine with me and I'm uh, available if they want to uh, contact me. Over. Okay, very good, Margaret. Thank you. Uh, Dawn, are you okay if we see if there's any of the other gals that uh, haven't made an exchange yet? I'm fine with it. Uh, can I exchange my flower? Because I really wanted to say sunflower last week. Well, you know, I'm not sure uh, what the rules are with that, but if so, um, you'd probably have to um, check in with who you made the exchange with last week, and uh, uh, you'd have to do a new exchange with them and tell them not to use that contact uh, in their log because it might get confusing. Um, other than that, I personally don't see why not, but you can ask, um, <clears throat> you can uh, check in with Marilyn. I think she's as uh, VP of YLRO is our official um, contest guru there. I'm not sure if she uh, has the rules handy or not, but um, but Dawn, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, so maybe we can check on that and uh, get back to you. Um, but it's so early in the year, I, I don't see a problem with it, but I'm not sure who can make that call. So uh, with that, let's go ahead because we're about out of time. Let's go to Rosemary uh, first. and. Uh, let get her an opportunity, and then uh, we'll check with a uh, couple other gals here. So, um, go ahead, Rosemary, with uh, pick any of these gals that you like and exchange your favorite flower. Okay, KB4RM. Um, now, do I have to be the Dawn or or Margaret, or can it be uh, any one of you? Uh, so, uh, I assume I can just exchange with you, Catherine. Um, um, my favorite flower is going to be tulip. Um, so um, AC4YL, KB4RM. Okay, very good, Rosemary. So I have your favorite flower is tulip. Uh, my favorite flower is uh, carnation. Um, I'm actually just choosing that one this year in honor of my uh, mother's mother, my grandmother. Uh, that was her favorite flower. I had a hard time picking one. So I'm going to go with the carnation uh, for my favorite flower in, in honor of her. So uh, do you have that, Rosemary? Thank you. Carnation it is. So thank you. Back to you. Okay. Thank you very much, Rosemary. I have it in the log. Thank you. Okay, we have time for uh, two more gals. So uh, are there any YLs who have not yet exchanged favorite flower that you would like to do so? Please call now. Okay, nothing heard. So we'll go ahead and go to Margaret. Go ahead, Margaret, AE7MB, AC4YL in the net. Okay. Um, well, Catherine, why don't I take you? Um, this is AE7MB, Margaret. I'm in Washington State. And my favorite flower is a heather. What is yours? Over. Very good, Margaret. So I have your favorite flower as uh, heather. My favorite flower is carnation. Um, and of course, I'm in Georgia here, Margaret. Go ahead. Okay, Catherine, I confirmed that uh, your favorite flower is carnation. Thank you very much. 
Okay, very good. Thank you, Margaret. Uh, Dawn, go ahead. Uh, WA4YL, AC4YL in the net. This is WA4YL. I will take you, Catherine, uh, my favorite flower. I'll keep the rose so I don't make it difficult. So I'm going to stay with rose. That's my favorite flower, and that's what I've got on my arm. Back to you. Okay, Dawn, very good. So I have your favorite flower as the rose. And my favorite flower is the carnation. Yeah, do you copy that, Dawn? I copy it loud and clear, Catherine. Okay, great. Thanks so much, Dawn. Appreciate it. Well, ladies, we've run out of time, so real quick, we'd like to ask for any more check-ins. So any YL who has not checked into the net uh, yet and would like to do so, Please call now. Okay, not hearing anyone. So with that, I uh, would like to uh, let everyone know. And WB1ARU has posted in the Echolink chat that uh, the HF net is on 40 meters. 7.195, so hop on over to 7.195, listen out for Ann, WB1ARU, and uh, check into the net. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you joining us. Hope to have everybody on next week. We'll be back Thursday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. 33 ladies, have a great week. This is AC4YL closing out the Echolink Wild Hem Net and returning the OR conference to normal use. 33, folks. Thirty-three to everyone on the net catches all next week. WA four YL clear. Thirty three to everybody from M C C T here in UK on on a very very cold morning. Thirty three is all. Hey Jenny, that begs the question, how cold is it? Minus five there, cat. Back to you. Um, burr. Of course, I'm in Georgia. We don't know what negative five is. <laughs>